Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn. Today we're going to show you how to replace a key on a Dell Latitude laptop. The key um, cap can be damaged or perhaps worn and uh, you may want to replace it. Fairly straightforward to do. We're going to show you how to replace one of the standard keys, in this case the E key. And then later in the video we'll show you how to change the shift key, which is a little bit larger. The main thing here is to double check that you've got a key to replace it with that has the same, that's the same design. They actually do use a couple different designs in the same model, but you see the white underlay piece of plastic on this one. All you'll need for a tool is a little, a little, uh, what we call a, a spacer tool. We, it just a little pry, it gives you a little pry action. You could probably use a flathead screwdriver, just something that you're going to have to get into a small spot in between keys and pry the key off. So this is the tool we use. Again, uh, what we're going to show you here is how to replace one. Uh, we're going to look at the E key here, just a standard normal key. Um, and we're going to replace it. So we're going to take the one off. In order to do that, all you have to do is get on the side of it with your pry tool and just pry up on it gently so you don't break anything and it will come up. And it comes right off. Now it's snapped onto that white underlay piece that has, if that's not damaged, then all you have to do is replace the cap with a new cap. And just as it came off, you get it in centered and push down on it and it snaps right into place. It's that simple. So now you've replaced the E key. Now just in case the undercarriage was damaged, you can take the top cap off. You can replace that undercarriage. It's just snapped into place. If you push on it from the side, it'll come unsnap. Push on it from both sides. You'll see a little pin there that'll release. And now you can lift that off. And um, you could replace that. Those do break also. Um, now, to replace that, you simply reverse the process. They'll only go in one way. So you get it into position and it should snap right in if you get it in right. Uh, it, and it, again, it won't go in the wrong way. Looks like we got it upside down. Let's try again here. Whoops. Again, it's a safety feature. It'll only go one way. Once you get it in the right way, it'll snap right in. And it snaps in, then you put the key on it. That simple. Okay, now, same process on a larger key. In this case, the shift key actually has two of these mechanisms that we just replaced. So there's a left and a right. So you find yourself a new key. And um, you're going to do a very similar process. You're going to verify that the equipment underneath looks the same as the one that you've got that you're making the replacement from. And uh, in this case, we've got an old keyboard that's got a good shift key on it. And we are going to remove the shift key from this older model. And uh, we'll do that by just using our pry tool. This one's big enough, you can almost do it with your fingers. Just snap it off. And now we are going to grab the two underlies also. With the pry tool, you can push those to the side and they'll unsnap. And then you can move them to your replacement if they require that. So there's two of them. And we're going to put them in. They fit in only one way. Once you get them in, they snap right in place. And then uh, let's get the second one. Just push it off to the side and it'll unsnap. And push the other side and now you've got it in your hands. Inspect it to make sure it's not damaged, and then you can locate that, press down, it snaps right in, and now you can take your shift. Oh, the, okay, there's also, if you need the metal rod from the bottom, if you don't have that, you can replace that also. Again, just slips into a slot on either side, and flip it to the, the top one flip to the top, and the bottom one we're going to flip towards the bottom edge. So just get that in position, 
and now you just take the cap once that's in position take the cap and get it centered and push down it snaps right into place that's all there is to it i hope this was helpful fred from the laptop barn over and out <laughs>